Hey, what's up guys? So Native Instruments has just announced Session Guitarist Electric Mint. Now this is a drop I've been looking forward to for some time in the Session Guitarist lineup. So far, Native Instruments has done a Session Guitarist Electric Sunburst, Electric Vintage, and now we finally have a Session Guitarist that sampled that signature solid body guitar sound. And just like other Session Guitarist versions, we get a bunch of picked patterns spanning a range of genres where we can choose from a selection of chord progressions or we can even play our own melodies. And since this one was modeled after a 1960s USA solid body electric guitar, we actually get control over the three combinable single coil pickups that have been sampled within this plugin. And as far as the sounds and presets go for Electric Mint, there is a bunch of silky licks, funky grooves, and there's also the ability to drag and drop MIDI patterns into your DAW and customize your parts. And you can even change the playing style in the articulations panel that I'll show you. Now, while there's a lot of funky kind of grooves that have been put into the pattern section for this Electric Mint version, I've really enjoyed a lot of the EDM parts that come with Electric Mint and I've actually built this entire project around that kind of playing style and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for this project I've used two instances of Electric Mint and one is a rhythm guitar part and the other is a melody guitar part. Alongside a new play series plugin by Native Instruments called Deft Lines which you saw in my last video and it was actually created for UK Drill but I found the flute like and atmospheric presets of Deft Lines work so well with this idea that I didn't really think twice about using it in this project. And then for the drums, I actually just use Logic Pro's built-in drummer, and I use the trapdoor preset that I really liked for this idea. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and play back this idea and give you an idea of what everything sounds like all together. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new track alternative for my rhythm part here, and then we'll open up Electric Mint. Okay, so opening up Electric Mint, you see that it's very similar to other Session Guitarist versions, and we have the ability to change our different playing progressions that are built in. There's different patterns that come with each preset. And like I was saying, new to this one, you can actually drag and drop the parts to your DAW's timeline. So if I click this little crosshairs logo or symbol here, I can actually drag the part that I used to my timeline. And then I can actually just go ahead and drag it over. I can actually click into it and change the individual playing parts and change the chords and things like that. I'm gonna go and undo that for now. Now you can trigger and play the different chord progressions just by simply pressing this play button right here. And then you can change the pattern. Sounds so good. And then you just stop it by pressing the play button there. And then like I said, if we click into this articulation panel, you can actually change the playing style right from this menu, this drop down menu, and you can get different playing styles with either a plectrum or fingers, and you can do it from open, muted, or flagellate for all these different articulations. Let's just go ahead and play through some of these here. So I'll do the plectrum open first, and then just trigger the chord progression with the play button. Then we can mute it. And then flagellate. And then same with the finger, you can do open which I believe is the original playing style. 
Do finger muted. And then finger flagellate. So super cool in a way to really edge out and get some more true authentic solid body guitar sound in your projects. So I'm just gonna go and close out of the articulation panel here. And then it's worth noting that for each of these Electric Mint instances, I've actually processed the guitar using Neutron 4 and all the new features that come with Neutron 4. So I've really taken advantage of the punch feature and especially the distortion feature where they've added Trash 2 module to Neutron 4. And you can really take advantage of this with Electric Guitar because you can um, just add more harmonic distortion to your already distorted guitar parts. And I've used all the different modules within here with Sculptor, Equalizer, and Compressor to really bring out and bring to life these guitar sounds. Let me go ahead and do a before and after with Neutron 4 and just give you an idea what this rhythm part sounded like before I added Neutron. And let me go back into it to make sure we're on the right playing part as well. And we'll go back to the first one, C1, and we can just trigger this. Okay, so this is with Neutron 4, and this is with, with no Neutron 4. Still sounds good, but it's kind of subtle and maybe even under a blanket in terms of semantically describing what the sound is like. But once I add Neutron 4, you can just hear all of that atmosphere and it just really brings Electric Mint to life. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is the control over the three customizable single coil pickups that they've sampled within Electric Mint. And if we go into guitar settings, we can take a look at the pickup selection and change between the bridge, middle, and neck pickup. And each has a varying difference in tone and sound. And if I just play this back, let's just go ahead and see what it sounds like as we blend through the three different pickups, just to give you an idea of what these sound like. So right now it's on the middle pickup. And if I blend it between the middle and the neck, and then just the neck, What a bridge has a brighter tone, and then the blend between the bridge and the middle. And back to middle. And then you can take it with doubling or off doubling. And then with some of these two, like I noticed like between the middle and neck pickup, we can actually turn down the noise using the fret control rotary knob here. Let's go ahead and play this back. Get some more of that sliding noise if you want it for realism, or you can dial it back. Can also change the decay of muted notes to make them shorter or longer. Make them really staccato.
So as you can see, there is a lot of different options and that's the beauty of sampling a solid body electric guitar that has three single coil pickups is that you have all these different tone options switching between the bridge, middle and neck pickups. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the doubling back on and then going further here, we see they have the amps and effects section where you can change out the different stomp pedals and compressors as well as other effects like phases, reverb, and you can also change your cabinets as well. And like other session guitarist versions, you can actually change the playback controls to make it either more humanized or more quantized to make it less humanized. You can change the swing control, the feel and shift and really get in the pocket with your guitar parts. Okay, we'll just go and pull this back to the patterns panel and then I'm gonna open up the melodic version or my melodic guitar part on track two. Just go and open that up. And you can see that I'm using the Haven preset for that. And if we solo it, let's see what it sounds like in combination with our rhythm part. I really liked how Haven complemented the mellow EDM preset specifically, and it just has a really nice delay sound on this melodic guitar part. Now with the melodic version of this, you have all the options that you should be used to if you've used Session Guitarist before and you can change between open, muted, flagellate, and even tremolo. And then you have the options to choose the plectrum or finger playing style as well as poly or mono. And if we just play through a couple of these to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, so that's a good overlook of what Electric Mint offers. And what I wanna do is just take a look at the supporting role. Even though it's not the star of this video, I wanna take a look at Deaf Lines and just show you how it added some atmosphere to this mostly electric guitar focused track. So let me go ahead and just pop out of Electric Mint now. Let's just go ahead and solo everything. So we know what it sounds like all together. But let's mute these guitars and just take a look at depth lines here. So for my intro, I've actually added this Brixton Theater and I actually used this preset in my last video that I think of it now. And if we just hear it back, This has such a nice atmosphere. And then we go into this bass line using depth lines as well as this lead part. I'm using real kicker for the bass. And bellow for this behind the scenes atmospheric flute-like sound. and then everything together. It just shows you that you can use really any plugin no matter what the target genre is and get a supporting role out of any sound or preset if it fits that project idea. It's always going to be what it sounds like and how it fits into your current idea, but I found Deflines to really support this guitar focused track. Anyways, guys, I have links down below for all of these plugins for Electric Mint, Deflines, and even Neutron 4 if you want to take a look at them and learn more about these plugins. But I gotta say, I had a really fun time stepping out of my normal electronic kind of genre and adding some more guitar-focused music and doing something kind of different. Definitely worth taking a look at and exploring, and yeah, I just had a lot of fun. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.